yeah, today we're talking about Eric Clapton's Running On Faith. We've got a G chord though, and then a D chord with F sharp in the bass, and then E minor, and then we walk back up to G, D with F sharp in the bass, and then E minor, and then back to G. We have to turn it around to go to the four chord, which is C, and then D. Hang out there for two bars, and then back to G, C, and then back to G. Repeats down up down up down 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 up down you could also use that two and three and four and one up down up down up down up down C is a new play place to go and then B seven we're in the chorus now, and then the E minor with a D in the bass, and then C walks down to A minor, A major for that tonal shift, and then walk up to the C, D, and then we're back to the verse. that and we're also just going to jam it out we could also use some palm muting right here in the right hand and just kind of dampen the sound doesn't have to be complex. It's kind of almost like a strum in a way. going to solo over it. I'd... I'd really work on, you know, major pentatonic to start with, but definitely learn the melody. So if the melody starts on, mm -hmm, starts on the three, right? I would learn that melody in the very first and part of the guitar, the lowest and most easily approachable part of the guitar. Play most. 
most of the song right there in open position. But then, of course, we'd want to maybe maybe add some double stops. Maybe you maybe pull from some of the G major pentatonic scale right there in open position. Which, of course, we know that we can just play any note we want. We could use especially that third fret on the, the G string to kind of approach that, that second degree of the G major scale or the nine. One, two, three, five, six, seven, oh, one, two, three, five, six, one. And then nine or two again. G, A, B, D, E. G, A, B, D, E, G. Right, so we got. And we could use triads that, that follow the chord progression because frequently the chord, the melody is derived from the chords that are behind it in the format of the song, right? The form of the song. And then we, we move from the D set to the D7, back to the G. To the E minor. Back to the G again. E minor, and then to the C major, to the D major, back to G, to the C, back to the G. So we can also find our way through new melodic and improvisational lines that way. Also use that same, it's a little more challenging, but for the chorus we could suffer through that. Also use pedal tones to bring the song into new directions. What happens if we just drop the you know, did as an exercise in, um, in harmony or pedal tones and, and just kind of drone tones. What happens if we play a really well-known song over a bed of drone tones? Doesn't work that well, in my opinion.
that's a pretty good place for us to end this song today. thank you again for being here and sharing your journey here with all of us and Jason Geary Guitar right here on YouTube. You know, liking and sharing and subscribing to the channel is definitely something we appreciate. If you're a member of the channel, you can drop questions and we can be prepared to talk about those questions in, in our live chats or live streams in real time. I'll see you again soon. And until that time, happy picking. stuff.